Hi everyone, welcome to Bonnie Carolee Makes Cards. Today I am featuring three different digital stamp sets by Gracie Ellie Design, Beautiful Destinations, Book Lovers, and Words of Hope. I have a few book-loving friends, so I have made each of them a fun shaker bookmark. I started off by ink smooshing a sheet of Nina Solar White 110 pound cardstock. I layered on the colors one at a time, Victorian Velvet, Worn Lipstick, Speckled Egg. In this way I could ensure that the colors were evenly distributed across the panel. I cut down the cardstock into three small panels that were six and a half inches by two and a half inches. I missed filming the section on the stenciling, thinking my camera was on, but it was not. Anyway, I used Tim Holtz stencils to stencil each of the three panels with Versamark ink. Two of the panels were embossed with gold and the other one with white. All of the images for the bookmarks are Copic colored. For this first bookmark, I've used a stack of books from Book Lovers and the orchid comes from Words of Hope. The orchid flower is colored with BV00, 08, and 13. For the stems and leaves, I use BG90, 93, and 96. The flower buds are done in the same greens, except I introduce a little bit of lilac, the BV00, for the highlight area. The groupings of colors are repeated throughout all three bookmarks. The books in this image were colored with the same BV tones used in the flower, the RV tones that will be used in the teacup, and the yellow tones that will be used in another book. After I fussy cut this image on the line, I then moved on to the image using the teacup. Both of these images are from the stamp bundle Book Lovers. The pages for all three images were colored with C00, 02, and 05. Because the images are small, the coloring is simple with just a bit of shading and highlighting. I used the same colors for the teacup as I did in a couple of the books, RV 91, 93, 95. When working on a project that includes multiples, whether they be bookmarks like this one or cards, I do like to repeat the colors that I'm using. For me, choosing the colors, which includes the highlight and the deep tone, can be quite time consuming. Repeating the colors lets me just get on with the job of coloring. The green and the purple book in this image were colored with the same BV and BG tones that were used in the orchid. Because the images are small, the coloring really went very quickly. I'm trying to avoid just listing all of the Copic colors at once that I've used. Instead, I'm trying to just introduce a grouping strategically, and I hope it's not confusing. But for this book, I have used Y21, 28, and 32. As with the last image, it is fussy cut right on the line. Before moving on to the last bookmark, I partially assembled the two gold embossed backgrounds. These panels were mounted on matte gold cardstock sized 6 and 3 quarter inches by 2 and 3 quarter inches. The sentiments were mounted on blue violet cardstock and then the images were adhered on top of the sentiment. The images for my last bookmark are from Beautiful Destinations and Book Lovers. I took some liberties with these stems of cotton and used the same BV tones that were used in the orchid. The jar was colored with BG000 and 01. Two of the books in this image were colored with the same blue-violet tones that were used in the orchid. As with all the images, the coloring is very quick and easy. The final book was colored with the RV tones used in the teacup. 
When fussy cutting this image, I did leave a little bit of white margin area around the cotton stems. The white embossed panel for this bookmark was mounted on Nina Solar White 110 pound cardstock. The dimensions of this panel were the same as the other two, six and three quarter inches by two and three quarter inches. The sentiment was mounted on some lilac cardstock attached to the bookmark and then the image mounted on top. The matte gold cardstock has a white backing. I cut two more of these panels to attach to the back of the gold embossed bookmarks. The shaker for these bookmarks was created using the fuse tool by We Are Memories. I let the fuse heat up for a good 15 to 20 minutes before using it. The pockets were made out of sheet protectors that you can pick up at any stationery store. I have found that when using the fuse you have to find the right speed. If the fuse is moved too quickly, your seam will not be sealed. On the other hand, if you move too slowly, you literally will melt through the plastic. After sealing everything except the top of the bookmark, I trimmed off the excess plastic. I left about an inch and a half of plastic at the top of the bookmark. My shaker mix was put into all three pouches. I sealed the plastic right next to the bookmark. I then sealed the top of the plastic and then created two diagonal lines to create a tab. After trimming off the corners with my scissors, I then punched a hole. I looped several strands of purple and white baker's twine and tied it through the hole and then cut my ends and trimmed it. For the gold embossed bookmarks, I used some lacy gold ribbon. And that wraps up these shaker bookmarks using the fuse tool featuring Gracie Ellie Designs, Beautiful Destinations, Book Lovers, and Words of Hope. As always, I appreciate your visit. Thank you so much.